Hey, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles, and this is our pro tip on how to check and adjust your primary chain on a twin cam 88 Dyna. So this is gonna be the same um, on all these bikes up to 06. This bike here is an 03 and started life as a twin cam 88. So about every 5,000 miles, you're gonna wanna make this check. When you change your transmission fluid, go ahead and check your primary chain for slack, see if it needs replaced or just adjusted. Honestly, most times you're probably gonna be okay, but on the off chance you got some slack in there, you're gonna wanna tighten it up. Um, we'll also link to the videos on the transmission fluid change, which you should also do every 5,000 miles and the primary fluid change. But to start with, we're going to take off our shifter here so we can access this little trap door here and then we're going to take our t27 and pull these four screws out and this will give us access to check the slack in the chain and make the necessary adjustment These two screws here and here are gonna be much longer than these two screws. We'll touch on that when we put them back in there, but don't be alarmed. These two screws on the top and the one towards the rear of the motorcycle are gonna be longer and these other two are gonna be shorter. From here, we need to pull this cover off and I have mid controls. So I have this uh, piece here at the shift shaft coming through. Um, if you have forward controls, this might be a little bit different, but it's the same procedure for, for adjustment. So this needs to come off. You might need to take a little uh, pick or screwdriver or something and get it started. And then you can just grab a hold of this piece here and work it off. It's a good idea to inspect your gasket here. And if obviously there's any tears or anything like that, you wanna replace it. It's cheap insurance just to replace it anyway. And I can link to that in the description. You're gonna be able to see your, pr your primary shoe down here. You can also, this is a good time to check it and see if it needs replaced. If it has like a deep groove in it, it's a good time to replace it. To replace it, you have to take your whole primary off. That's another story. Right now what we're looking at is the chain is actually up here. It's about right up in here. And what we're gonna wanna do, you need to have your bike straight up and down like this, which if you're not, if you're trying to do this on the kickstand, it's gonna be a pain anyway, because this is gonna be way leaned over. But reach up in here and you wanna push the chain up and down. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. On a cold motor, you want there to be about five eighths to a max seven eighths slack in that chain. And on a hot motor, which I do not recommend doing this to a hot motor because this is a lot more, uh, it, it sucks a lot more on a hot motor. But if you're doing it on a hot motor, three eighths to five eighths. Now you could put some sort of measurement tool up there and try to measure off this edge how much the chain is being pushed up. But really, I don't wanna call it guesswork, but you just gotta kinda feel it, kinda gauging off. You can almost kinda see out my finger here, how much my finger's moving up. Like I'm just making contact with the, with the chain here and then pushing it up. It's a little more slack than what I want, so I'm gonna show you how to make the adjustment. Okay, so from here you can make the adjustment and I have it loosened up and you can move the adjuster up and down. You can see it move there and then you would check your tension and then tighten it back up. But you really can't see what's going on. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this primary cover off, take my mid control off so you can actually see what we're adjusting. You do not have to do this procedure. You do not have to take all this off, but just for the sake of video and you guys can see what you're actually adjusting, we're gonna take this off and show you the adjustment. This is the adjustment we're making. This is the 9 we loosened up, and this is what you're gonna move through the inspection cover. But this is the measurement you're looking for right here. And this is a little bit too loose. We're looking for between 5 8 and 7 8 on a cold motor. I'm saying that's probably about right. Um, and if you're just doing this through the inspection cover, it, there, there is a little bit of guesswork, but you're looking to guess about 5 8 to seven eighths. I'm gonna tighten this up and we'll take a look at what five to seven eighths actually looks like. So we're, we got the chain on the one there. As we move it up, you can see it's moving up maybe three eighths to a half. If I hold it on the one. 
So that's a little tight. If this is a hot motor, we would be good. But all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it one tooth. You can see the teeth in there. I need a little bit more slack. So I'm gonna let this down and that's actually gonna put slack in this. If I let this down, it'll put a little slack in it. I'm gonna kind of feel it and feel down one tooth. Like I mentioned before, this is a little bit of guesswork if you don't have your primary all the way off. You can do it through the inspection cover. And it is a little bit of black magic, but you can do it. You can see there, we're right on 5 8 And so that's where I'm gonna leave it. If you're doing this through the inspection cover, now you're done. What you're gonna do is tighten this nut right here up from 21 to 29 foot-pounds. Right now I have ours set to 25. And since I have everything off right now, I'll go ahead and torque that. If you have your primary cover on, you're gonna to torque it through the inspection cover. So from here, it's just a matter of putting our inspection cover back on. If you have a bike with forward controls, obviously you're not gonna have the shaft, you're not gonna to have to put your mid control back on. Otherwise, it's just the inspection cover. And the only thing to remember here is the long screws go here and here. The short screws go in the other two holes. You're gonna to torque them to 84 to 108 inch pounds. Remember that's inch pounds, not foot pounds. And you're done. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop us a comment. Go work on those motorcycles.